Good morning, everyone. We're meeting today in New York with Elena Paley. We're going to continue our series that we had uh, broadcasted before. We're going to talk about her developments uh, in Alzheimer's research. And she has some new <clears throat> promising uh, studies that she's working on, and we would like to ask her some more questions about it. Good morning, Elena. Hello, Diana, and hello, everybody. Welcome to New York. So, uh, could you tell us uh, what your new developments are? So, actually, we discussed with Diana before this recording uh, what we will talk about today. And um, one of the subjects that bothers me today is um, estimation or monitoring risk of Alzheimer's disease. Because it's a known uh, subject that uh, what is the progression, what is the prognosis for the population, for like American population, the world population. So if we have in the USA, for example, if we have in the USA now more than 5 million uh, patients with Alzheimer's disease, so we can uh, prognose or estimate the increase in population by 2020, it will be like 20 million. But I'm interested, what will can happen with the individual, with the particular person. So not the risk estimation for population, but the risk estimation of Alzheimer's disease for individual, for the person. This is the subject of our interest, and we are writing the paper that uh, we made some research. It's, it, we can say it's a preliminary research because the population of patients and healthy people not, was not so big in our study. So this is we can say that this was just a preliminary, not that we're absolutely sure that it works, but it looks like we developed uh, the test uh, that can monitor the risk of Alzheimer's disease in general population. This is why this particular video and recording for you not for physician, not for scientists. This is for public, for community. Okay, well this sounds very interesting. So you're trying to address the population in general. So how do you would like for them to participate? What, how would you like to do your study? What is your plan? So one of the main point in, in the study and the main, sometimes it's a main issue or one of the issues is that we do not have actually, it's very difficult anyway, it's very difficult to collect sufficient amount of human samples to make the test, to test, to make comparison and to make uh, the really big uh, reproducible statistic if it works or if it doesn't work. So in order to tell you, that, yes, it works in different big population, in different countries, by the way. So not only in USA, in Canada, but also in Australia, for example. In order to make some conclusion, we need more samples for testing. So, and I would like to have samples from you. I mean non-invasive stool samples. So it's not difficult to get. You don't need doctor, you don't need physician, you don't need nurse. You just can take small piece, very really small piece of stool, stool or feces, fecal samples, and to send to the lab. So we are going to launch new website where all details will be described, how to pack, how to take this test, and we are very interested to test you, I mean any person in the world, to test Alzheimer's disease, clinically diagnosed Alzheimer's disease patient who has already this disease in some different stages, in early set stage of Alzheimer's disease. In medium, advanced, and any stage, uh, and also caregivers and also family members of the people, of people with the individuals with Alzheimer's disease at different stages. stages. So we are interested to analyze, to test your samples. It will help to develop a real test that will serve you. And what we are also interested, we are interested in your contribution, since we are 
testing and it's a quite expensive test, I would say, because it's a test that tests the DNA and we need a very specific um, markers to test, uh, so, it's, so it's a synthetic wax, it's a, a very modern equipment, so it's, it's a costly testing, so we don't expect from you to cover all our expenses, but we expect from you uh, to pay at least for the part portion of the testing and we hope that in future future you will get some special bonus like you will have a very di serious discount for next testing why you would need another test so if this test system will work you will need more testing during years why because this is what we test it's a etiological factor if you do not have this risk factor now you may get this risk tomorrow or next year because it's still in the environment so we can test and we can recommend how to prevent the disease in order to do this on the regular base you have to be tested again and again so if we start now we can have very fast progress Okay, this sounds very interesting for a regular human being to understand and take charge of their disease and be able to do something about. So it sounds like very interesting study that you're trying to launch. So we're going to put um, more information online for when the website com comes out with all the details. So you'll be able to refer to it as far as what the test is about in more great details. There's going to be links and explanations of what that test is all about. But thank you very much, Elena. That was a great explanation. And I think it's a nice breakthrough. At least we'll be able to <clears throat> get closer to get this disease eradicated. Okay, thank you, Diana, for help.